Who can be credited for the invention of the printing press? Well, some of you might think Johannes Gutenberg. Indeed, the German goldsmith's 15th century contributions to the technology was revolutionary. But did you know that the history of printing began long before his time in 14th century Korea? Well, the title was claimed in 2001 when UNESCO certified that a Korean printing publication had preceded the Gutenberg Bible by almost a century. Korea's printing heritage that goes back more than a thousand years and advancing as we speak. Our news feature tonight with Oh Soo Young. These colorful blocks arrayed along the grounds of Cheongju Art Center bear more than 16,000 letters from Chikji Shim Cheyodo or Chikji in short. As certified by UNESCO, Chikji is the world's oldest book printed by movable metal type. To celebrate Korea's legacy in the world, a festival has opened in Cheongju City, the birthplace of this treasured book. This year, we combined Cheongju's annual Jikji Festival with UNESCO's biennial Jikji Awards Ceremony. We hope the event will spread the creative spirit of Jikji and its influence on contemporary printing technology, media, and civilization. The Book of Buddhist Teachings was printed at the local Hundoksa Temple. Now a museum stands here in its place. Records show Korea's printing advancements stretch back more than a millennium. Chikji was published in 1377, 78 years earlier than the Gutenberg Bible. But historians believe Korea's movable metal type was actually in use two centuries before those of other nations. There are records of the moving metal type being invented in Korea in the early 1200s. Chikji is the tangible proof of that, showing Korea was the birthplace of the movable metal type. Before the metal type, Korea used advanced methods of woodblock printing traced back to the 8th century. A set of Buddhist scriptures called Paiman Tejanggyong or Tripitaka Korea is a prime example of Korea's excellence in the craft. Over a period of a dozen years from 1237, monks engraved more than 80,000 characters into woodblocks to create the oldest and the most comprehensive version of Buddhist teachings. The pieces are preserved to this day and were listed by UNESCO nine years ago. Centuries later, Korea is still an advanced printing nation, skilled in offset and digital printing. An international printing exposition has opened in Koyang City, north of Seoul, showcasing printing technologies from Korea and around the world. This global conference is a chance to make Korea's excellence in printing better known to the world. It's also a good chance for local companies to meet and network with foreign buyers. So I see an opportunity for, for Korea in, in Latin America, uh, not only in printing, but also in uh, finishing uh, equipment. And... It's not just about sealing business deals. Corporate leaders and experts from around the world are here to discuss how printing businesses should respond to the latest trends and challenges in the industry. And as more people are using social media, they're using iPhones, they're using smartphones and mobile telephony, their requirements for communication products are changing. So I say don't consider print as a newspaper, as a book or a magazine. Look at what it does. There are other media that do those functions very well. And so what print has to do is it has to compete with those uh, new media, but do it better. For Korea, it could be a chance to combine traditional printed goods with the country's state-of-the-art technology, such as augmented and virtual reality. If printed products can offer enhanced sensory qualities for customers, like smell or touch, that the Internet cannot emulate on its own, there is huge potential for growth. Also, experts say the printing experience needs to get more personal and shift gears from mass production to one-of-a-kind creations like individualized photo books. We're going from B to B to B to C. We need to develop on-demand web-to-print systems so that the end users can easily create printed products even though they aren't graphic designers or publishers. Building on the country's centuries-old heritage and printing, Korean companies are seeking new ways to produce innovative products and solutions as they respond to the changing paradigm of the global printing industry. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.